if you feel like you could be a slut, try it out. How did you get into it, and what was your first time like? Well, I, this is super random, um, but I used to sell cars, and one of the girls that I worked with, she was like, oh, I'm going to do phone sex to make some extra money, and I was like, hmm, I could, I could do that. I could do phone sex. Wait, oh, do you think you have a sexy voice? No, but, she, but I was like, I could do something like that. So I tweeted just like, hey, does anyone know how to, to do sex work? And an agent saw it and like recruited me that way. And I'm happy it just worked out good. Let's say, like, if you put something on Twitter, hey, I'm looking for a porn agent, I imagine a lot of those folks might not be on the up and up. No, I'm so, so grateful because like hindsight, it was very stupid to go like meet with some stranger two hours away from my house to suck a Walk me through that conversation, how he got you to do that. Well, he just kind of told me about it and like we went on a phone call and he kind of talked to me about it and I didn't really believe him, but he did give me like models numbers like and I FaceTimed them and they legit and I was like, well, if he has these really hot girls saying that it's real, then it probably is. So references, in other words. Yes, references. Yes, that was honestly probably the turning point for me deciding that I was going to actually try it. You drove two hours. I drove two hours. I went, I was signing the paperwork, shaking like a chihuahua. I was so scared. And then we went upstairs. I sat on the bed. I'm just in like a little bra and like a tiny little skirt. And he turned the camera on and brought me a hard and I just, I turned into a freak. I just started having a grand old time. And normally in your private life, do you, do you work the same way? No. I'm so shy, like I'm, you know those memes where it's like when she comes over to your house for the first time and she like is sitting on the edge of the bed? That's me, I do that for real. Unless there's a camera there. No, unless there's a camera, then like I'm just myself, you know, I'm doing whatever I gotta do. <laughs> now Sarah, if folks wanna see your work online, where's the best place to find you? Um, you can find all of my things. Um, on my website, serafinasucks.com. S-E-R-A-F-I-N-A-S-U-C-K-S.com. Hopefully you've given some young ladies some courage. Yes, hopefully. Hey, if you feel like you could be a slut, try it out. There was one time I showed up at a client's home, and I did not know that he still lived with his mother. <laughs> and she opened the door, and she was like, oh my God, you know, lovely to see you, lovely to meet you. I was in complete awe and shock. I didn't even know how to introduce myself. <laughs> what, what is a client's home? What does that mean? Like massage client, what is that? Um, so I am a dominatrix. Oh. Yeah, so I uh, dom clients, my little submissives, I like to call them. <laughs> and so was she, she was, you said she was nice, accommodating. Uh, absolutely, she was a great host. Uh, his father was also sitting on the couch. Um, he said, hello, nice to meet you. He thought I was beautiful. <laughs> Did he, this client offer any explanation of why his parents were there? Or? <laughs> um, he still lived at home. That's a good reason. <laughs> was, the home, was the home nice, clean? Like? Oh, listen, upper middle class. Listen, uh, inflation nowadays, it's hard to get a home, even in an apartment. I understand. <laughs> now, when you show up to a client's house, you probably have a lot of equipment though, right? Oh, absolutely. I had a suitcase full of stuff, a paddle, a mask for him and all. Uh, we did the session in his basement. Um, I tried my best to be quiet, but hey. <laughs> well, yeah, leather whips are usually pretty loud, right? Oh, yeah. Listen, I uh, also have this rubber one. Makes a pretty good crack. <laughs> and his parents just stayed upstairs in the living room? Yep, I didn't hear no knocks. I didn't even hear feet. <laughs> I guess they were enjoying the show as well. Well, you can follow me um, on Instagram, Twitter, and also loyal fans. D-A-D-D-Y-Y-M-A-E-E. -E. One time I had a guy take me to Exclusive, which means he's paying me $15.99 a minute. And he took a dollop of mayonnaise, slapped it down on the leather couch, and stuck his bare butt on it and like wiggled it around. He just wanted you to see that. Yep. He was like, oh, it's stinky. And I was like, oh. And I just watched him do that for several minutes. Why do you think it was stinky? <laughs> Probably because his ass got it all hot. <laughs> Did this man rubbing his butt on his mayonnaise covered couch, did that arouse you? <laughs> Absolutely, he was paying me, money arouses me. I have my very own website, kellystyles.fans. Um, you can come there and find links for anything else that you'd wanna find me on. So I got there and basically, their original idea was to tie this other girl up and play with her butt with butt plugs, which is fine. And so I did that for a while and then I went to the bathroom and I came back and the plan had totally changed. Someone had made a joke about putting gummy bears in her butt 
And the director said, I like that idea, let's do it. And they put gummy bears in her ass, and they wanted me to put my face under her asshole and eat them as she pushed them out. <laughs> um, but I said no, and I just caught them in my hands oh. instead. <laughs> and I, just some lube and some gummy bears. Yeah, I would just use a lot of lube. And honestly, also, don't worry about them like getting lost or anything because they just melt right away. <laughs> That's what I found out is when they came out, they were like half melted because your asshole is so warm. <laughs> Yeah, so just know that about gummy bears in your ass. <laughs> Thank you so much. Very interesting. And uh, hopefully <laughs> uh, you don't find yourself in that situation again. I hope so, too. But, you know, I, not, I, I'm a slut. I do love anal situations. Just maybe not that kind. <laughs> right, like, you know, if you love the swamp, don't be surprised to find some alligators, right? Right. That's exactly right. Hey, that's what they say. Yeah. What is the best place to find your work online? The best place to find me is on Twitter, Mrs. Valentine 666, MRS Valentine 666, or Instagram, I'm Jade Valentine. I am Jade Valentine.